my name is Teacher Salit, and today we're gonna have fun learning together. Let's start our day with a fun song. Are you ready? Let's get started. The title of the song is Clap Your Hands. Don't worry, kids, it's really easy. Just follow Teacher Salit. Um, our materials that we're using. So first of all, we're using just a standard mixing bowl and a spatula to mix with. We're using an Elmer's five uh, five ounce glue um, clear glue bottle. We're using this um, Arm and Hammer pure baking soda. Some contact lens solution. It doesn't matter the brand as long as it's contact lens solution. We're using the Elmer's glue pens or glitter glue pens. And we're going to be using some measuring spoons as well. So let's get started. So our first ingredient is we have to put our five ounce bottle of clear glue in our mixing bowl. Now this stuff is really sticky, so trying to get a lot of it in, just squeeze and just try to get as much of it as you can. And if you don't get all of it in, that's not really a big problem. The ingredients are still the same. Just try to get as much of it as you can in. Then our next step is we're supposed to add half a tablespoon of baking soda into the glue. So let's just get that really quickly. So that's roughly the amount I need because I poured a little bit of it in, so that's good. And then once you're done with that, you have to mix it very well. So you could you won't be able to see any powder so and the glue will look sort of milky clear so that's really important because if you don't mix it in properly then it won't the recipe won't work so i would have, i would spend like at least a minute 30 seconds to a minute just mixing it in and on to our third step you have to add your coloring so we're using just like i explained elmer's um, glitter glue and we're going to use light blue because light, because light blue is cool. So I'm just going to squeeze it all in. We're going to add our contact lens solution. We have to be very exact with this because if you mess up, then your slime will not, your slime will not be good. It will be very hard 
or it will be really sticky. So you first, you should start out with adding one tablespoon of contact lens solution, measuring it out, one tablespoon. And mixing that in very thoroughly. And then just, the, the key here is patience. The key to it is patience because if you're not patient enough and you just add, keep on adding it in mass chunks, then your slime will not turn out good, like I said. There's more room for error if you keep on adding in mass chunks. So see, this is really sticky, so I'm gonna go just take this out and put some more contact lens solution in. So now I'm gonna need a fourth of a tablespoon. Keep on mixing. This, the consistency is still sticky. You see, even though it's not sticking to the bowls. So we're gonna add some more activator. So far I've added um, an extra quarter teaspoon. So now we're gonna add some more in. It's really sticky, so if you, the way to test, a good way to test it is just to poke your hand in there and see if it's, um, see if it sticks. If it does like this, don't don't just don't worry. Just keep on adding your activator, and it'll, eventually it'll get there. So, add another quarter teaspoon, and then just keep on mixing. Add in just a tiny bit more, just so we can make it. Just so it's a little more less sticky because it is uh, less sticky. So if yours is at the point where it's barely sticking, then I suggest adding maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon of contact lens solution and then just kneading that in. Keep on kneading this. See how I'm kneading it and it's getting way less sticky? You know how it was sticky back, back then? It was sticky. I added a little more activator and then boom, now it's like totally flexible and it's really stretchy, so that's nice. And like I said before, the key with making slime is patience because slime might take a while depending on what slime you're making. Right now we just made like kind of like a gel slime, I, I like to call it. But it's more of a clear slime, we just added colorant to it. And now look, this looks really pretty now and it's really stretchy. Previously I had made a, a pink batch that also looked pretty, let me show you. This pink batch here is also very nice and nice and stretchy. After your slime is done, and you know it's done, then you could do some tests to show that um, that are fun. My, one of my favorite tests is, you grab your, I'm gonna use my made, my made slime. You grab it, you dangle it like this, and then you make this, and then you cover it in your slime. You cover this like thin layer, and then you pop, and then it makes this cool bubble crunching noises that are very appealing. So you make it like this, and then you cover it, and then you crunch it. It makes a nice crunchy noise, which I like. Actually, mix these two slimes together, and we're gonna make a cool color. So let's try that. Now look, it looks like a pink, cot pink and blue cotton candy right now. Let me get a close up look. It looks like pink and blue cotton candy. Which is what look, I guys, this is so cool. Stretch. <laughs> Whoa! The trick if you made this at home is that you can make this really cool noise uh -huh. by doing bubble pop, Whoa. by doing bubble popping. Okay, can we do that? Bubble yeah. popping? And I'm gonna show this to Teacher Celine. Okay. I've already showed you guys a little bit, but I'm gonna show Teacher Celine now, so she can she can make when she makes this, she knows how to do it. So you stretch it like this, and you make this really cool, like almost like a net. Uh -huh. and then you cover the rest of your slime, okay. and then you <gasps> squish it, and it makes these cool like bubble popping noise. And you could do this for a long time. Can you try that? Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Oops. Oh. Oops. It's so, okay. So you gotta hold two ends, two so ends. and then like just like let it go, and then one. Okay. And then now and you cover it. Cover. And then squeeze. Squeeze. Go. <gasps> it's like it's popping bubbles. bubbles. Yeah, it Ooh. makes a cool noise. And it's kind of, it's a nice and soothing noise. It's not like a annoying noise. 
that's the end of our fun activity for today. Can we all say thank you, Kuya Augie? You're welcome. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time, kids. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.